Boy bands are a pop music staple, and every decade has a new crop of faves. With over 5 million YouTube subscribers, Sanam have earned tags such as India's One Direction and The Fabulous Four. And with a lineup that includes two brothers and a catalogue of chart toppers, they tick all the boy band boxes. Sanam had fans swooning when they toured South Africa a while back, and when they returned this year, Mela was offered all areas access to the concert. When I think of four young, handsome men rocking out on stage, I also think of a crowd full of adoring fans, and that's exactly what's going to happen at Sanam's Johannesburg performance tonight. The guys are here early, and I am very lucky to be spending the day with them, and I cannot wait to meet them. So lovely to meet you all. Welcome to South Africa and welcome back to Mela. Thank you. As young musicians, you've managed to leverage digital platforms like YouTube so well. There was no other way for us. You have much more freedom. We can release whatever you want to release and you can make the music you want to make. And that's why we started doing renditions of these old songs and all these platforms they have really helped us. Talk to me about the process of taking a cover and performing it. One thing we were very careful about was to not lose the soul of the original song because many people have tried doing renditions and uh, they sound good. But the thing is, the essence of the original song is lost and that is what people connected with in the, to begin with. So blending that wasn't an easy process, but at the same time, we had to just be ourselves. And have you ever had the experience where someone that you respect that you've done a cover of has acknowledged it. Nan Sami actually oh, like yeah. retweeted Higi Bigi Rato Mein and it was really very encouraging for us because it we've grown up with a lot of music from the 90s and 2000s and he was very seminal in releasing some amazing pop music for us to grow up with. Did you always know that you were going to be musicians? So there was no other career path that you wanted to follow? Music was a thing for us and we had to do this. We never had to decide, oh, this is what we're going to do. It was just there. If you keep music as an option, it'll always be an option. When we first started off, I had a job, Venki was also working in Bangalore and we just gave up everything else and we're like, okay, this is the only thing, make it happen. Guys, I know you've got to get to a sound check. Do you mind if I tag along? No. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. go. for the show, people are starting to arrive and I want to find out what everyone is looking forward to tonight. Irene, such a pleasure to meet you. Congratulations on winning the competition. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Well, I'm so excited to have this quality time with my husband. Just spending time together and dancing the night away. Enjoy. I'll chat to you after the show. Thank you. You too. Osman's friends of Mela, welcome back. Tell me about the choice of Sanam. Well, we brought Sanam three years ago to South Africa. We were following their profiles when they were called SQ Projects, and then they became the band known Sanam. They had a few hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, and it was phenomenal. I mean, they were young, they were hip. They brought the songs of yesteryear back to life. Absolutely, and now, they sit on a whopping six million YouTube subscribers. All throughout the world they have fans, from Asia to the UK to the Far East to all over Africa. <laughs> Thank 
Guys, how was the show? It was absolutely fantastic. We thoroughly enjoyed the show. Thanks to Mella. This was probably the first time that I got to spend the entire day with artists just before they go on for a live performance. And I can honestly say the guys of Sanam are talented, down-to-earth, hardworking, and amazing. Tonight was truly spectacular. <laughs>